The it's game is two truths and a lie. It's true. So you've game. heard of it. Yeah, you've well, heard well, of it. Yeah, because babies play that at their birthday parties. Okay, whatever. It's a good game. And we are going to give this in another attempt this morning. We are streaming live on our Facebook page, Mercedes in the Morning. And maybe you'll get some clues based on our facial expressions, our nervous tics. I don't know. I think we're all pretty good liars. This is what I've learned from playing this for the past few months. <laughs> um, two truths and one lie. Two of us are telling the truth about something. One of us is lying. We all drew. We predetermined who will be telling the truth and who will be lying this morning. I already looked at mine. Mm. Well, you guys look. I'll, I I can just start since you guys uh, are checking yeah, yours th- out. This is hard, too. It's a hard thing to do because I feel like we're trying to like, fool each other. Yeah. Tell stories that we haven't told before and we, we know each other for a long time. We need to all be on the same page and like help each other. Yeah, with instead, the lies. We, instead, we're like trying <laughs> to call each other liar? out. Ah. <laughs> you were in a town when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I'll go first today. I, I, I thought of this just because it's the first day of fall and... Um, pumpkins are going to be appearing everywhere. And we all know my aversion to pumpkin seeds, right? Mm. I I cannot stand pumpkin seeds. But there is another food item that I have an aversion equal to that of pumpkin seeds, where when I see them, I get nauseous. I get sick. I cannot stand this item. I just don't. if, If I see someone else eating it, it makes me really nauseous. And that item is olives. I hate olives so bad. And I'll, 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 I'll tell you a story. We went out to dinner with some friends of ours. We went to a steakhouse and my girlfriend got a martini with these blue cheese stuffed almonds. I almost lost, or not almonds, olives. I almost lost it at the table. Like I just, I started sweating. I'm like, those things are making me sick. I can't even look. And then she's like, oh, (laughs) just disgusting. I cannot stand olives. They are so gross and they make me nauseous. The way you were t- describing how she was eating was just so funny. If you're not on Facebook Live, you need to go on it to see our expressions. Oh, no, so no. olives, Mercedes, that's that's different. I, I hate them. Black, green, doesn't matter. Disgusting. Don't you put olives in your chili? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I would never. Um, Jeff just asked, Mercedes, would you rather eat an olive or a tomato? Oh, I'm sweating just thinking about that. You know what? Oh, probably a tomato, and I definitely don't like tomatoes. I cannot stand olives. Watch on Facebook because you just did a old timey Hollywood. I'm sweating oh. about the faint look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, 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 th- this is not dramatics, oh you guys. These are real feelings. Wait, now hold on out. one second, okay? Oh hold God. on one second. I'm we getting know- high in here. Oh, we know the pumpkins. We know the story behind the pumpkins. We know the story. Why? Why? What was the deal with olives? You like the taste, the texture? What's the backstory? On olives. I, I don't know that there's like a specific backstory. I do remember my dad, he he likes he liked olives too. And he would make martinis with not the blue cheese ones, but just the regular ones with that red thing in the middle. And for some reason when I was a kid, I looked at those and they looked like candy to me because they were two different colors and I thought, oh, that must be sweet. And I remember I went to taste it once and I just touched it on my tongue. I was like, eh. and I, I, I wanted to throw up. It was the most disgusting flavor I've ever had. Ever. It was so gross. So yeah, I've I do not like olives. I I put them right up there with pumpkin seeds. Uh, pumpkin seeds. That's what? intense. We've never heard, we've never had like we've done so many food things on the show and never once has there been Oh, make sure there's no olives on it. Unless you say it, we're not just picking up on it. You're right. Like I, for Try It Tuesdays, like what stuff don't you guys like? I know the tomatoes thing. And then sometimes JC with dairy. But this is a very big first for me, Mercedes. If we wow. ever have anything with olives, trust me, I'll tell you. But, you know, when we're like the Carl's Jr. chicken sandwich, I'm like, there's probably not olives on that. So. <laughs> oh, there's olive sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so that's fine. Okay, that's good. All, All right. right. I got okay. it. Who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go next. Okay. I have a um, – I had – an interesting connection to the Philadelphia Phillies. I, I just kind of like blocked this out and just it just kind of popped in my mind. And it, I'll, I'll be honest, as we get closer to Wednesday, I'm starting to think of stuff I never told on the radio before. And it, it's a little thing, but it goes back to my childhood. My neighbor, Carl Ernstberger was his name. He was older. Um, gosh, he was, he was uh, I don't know, maybe late teens, early 20s. He played for the Reading Phillies. He was a pitcher, and I'll never forget this day. Uh, I was a little kid in my backyard, 
And when we go to my parents' house now, there's trees overgrown. You can't see the neighbor's house. But as it, when we were little, we moved in there in the 70s. Our backyard kind of rolled into our neighbor's driveway. And i never forget, I was in, in, in the backyard, and he comes pulling in his driveway, and he gets out of his car, and he is screaming at the top of his lungs, jumping up and down with excitement. Mom, 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 I did it, I did it. And he goes running inside, and then the buzz around the neighborhood was he got drafted by the Reading Phillies. And he, he was a pitcher. And he, was only, he only lasted a couple of months. But my neighbor, Carl Ernstberger, was a pitcher for the double-A team, the double-A affiliate for the Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's believable, and that's kind of exciting, like a little claim to fame for your neighborhood. Um, what was his name again? Carl Ernstberger. What was his ERA? I don't know. I'm say I, I, that's all I, I was. Well, you should know that. So, <laughs> come on, DC. Eight year old. I, 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 maybe I was six, seven, eight years old at the time, and younger than that. I just remember in the backyard and just, just pulling him and screaming like something went down. And it was it was a, it screams of joy that he made the Reading Phillies, and they moved out. And I was texting my mom about it today. It was Carl. There was he had a younger brother named David that was more my age, and she said, and his sister. I'm like, there was a girl that lived in that house. I don't remember the girl. You would have remembered the girl, JC. Yeah. Come on. I know. Lies. They... <laughs> ah, this is a lie. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my neighbor was a pitcher for the Reading Phillies, the double-A affiliate for the Philadelphia Phillies. Okay, who is telling the truth? Who is lying? And he that... hates olives, too. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> that's <laughs> lying. That's why he quit the team. <laughs> Two out of the three have gone. And Steph, that leaves you. You are up next. Yes, you guys remember last week I was telling you about our dog Momo and him meeting his little brother. And we, I've been persuading my husband James to get the little puppy. They're, they have the same mom and dad. If you don't remember from last week, if you're just tuning in and not knowing, is that they have the same mom and dad and the mom just had another litter. And we went to go visit the new litter. And I've been in the persuading of James to get the puppy. And he's very logistical. He's like, I need to have everything straight. We got to get everything right. And I have convinced him to get the second puppy. What? And we're picking up the second puppy this Friday. No! Yes! I have been... Oh, my gosh. I, you have no idea how many... Like, I've been, like, trying so hard not to, like, just be on social media. Like, we're getting a second puppy. But it is happening. Um, we already have a name planned out. And we're just kind of... I'm kind of just freaking out because last night is, like... The day we said, all right, we need to give them an answer. So last night was our final time. Just like, this is it. These are the logistics we've kind of planned out for James. And I picking up a second puppy on Friday. Oh, my gosh. Okay, first of all, if you're lying, I'm going to be really upset. Yeah, like, you can scratch Steph off. Be, this, this has to be the truth. This game is between Mercedes and I today. It's not included. Steph is out of the picture. There's no way you would lie <laughs> about that. that would that. be the meanest yeah. lie to say that. Oh, my gosh. That is exciting. Will you tell us the name? Or, um, yeah, I'll oh. tell you what we're thinking. We're thinking of Appa because Momo is from the or one of our favorite uh, shows Avatar The Last Airbender and in that show there's also a character named Appa and it's both of them Momo and Appa together in the show so we thought we would keep the consistent theme of Momo and Appa in Avatar Ah oh Steph that's God. awesome congratulations Thank you I believe you I really believe you Oh it's, it's off the table it's between you and I and Mercedes you it's think? A, Yes it's, she's not <laughs> like lying about she's this She's really being tricky no. like I don't know Steph is a smart girl I think Ah, well, she saved know. it to make this announcement. There's no way you're lying about this. What questions do you guys have? Oh, well, what time are you getting the dog on Friday? Uh, we're thinking like around three or four. Oh, how, so wait. So is this one of the dogs that, because he brought Momo there last week, he told us. Is this one of the dogs Momo saw so they met before? Yes. This okay. Is the, this is the dog. Is mm -hmm. this dog the runt of the litter? What's that? The runt? Uh-huh. That's like the smallest dog. Oh, I don't know. That's oh. a good question. Um, Is this dog, uh, is it a male or female? A male. Um, you have a little brother. Is is what's his personality like? Right now, it's kind of hard to tell. He's pretty quiet when he was around Momo. Um, when he was barking at him, he was pretty pretty tame. We asked about his personality with the other dogs, and they said he's pretty calm. We wanted kind of like the calmest dog, but it's sometimes personalities <laughs> come. They come out later. Do you have this stuff like another uh, another crate, or as I call them, little condos for them to sleep in? Do you have another crate for him to sleep in? So we're keeping the same condo, the same crate, and we're just putting a divider in the on the side so that it still kind of fits his size. And then we'll see how that goes until then. But we have a lot of extra stuff from Momo. The only thing that we're getting different is a different bowl for his feet. And his water. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Steph's so getting a second dog. Okay, what do you think? 702 
402-364-9400. Call or text who is telling the truth, who is lying. Melissa says it's JC or Mercedes. Uh, Stephanie says, I think JC, it looks like he was reading from something on his computer <laughs> during his story. He runs the board. I'll give him that. This is yes. why you need to watch on Facebook. <laughs> uh, Steph, I write my stories out ahead of time. <laughs> my neighbor. Jan says, hmm, I'm thinking JC for a third week in a row. Yeah, it's a random drawing. We yeah. just don't know. Um, on the text line, all three stories are very believable, but JC is lying. He didn't pitch his story as convincingly as Mercedes and Steph. So. It's time for the big reveal. Who is telling the truth? Truth teller number one, will you please step forward? It's me. I hate olives. I hate olives. They're so disgusting. I cannot stand olives. No way. <laughs> yes. I never knew this about oh, you, Mercedes. We've been to lunch and dinners and steakhouses and many other restaurants. I feel... Like, this would have come up at some point. Olive I, spreads, everything. I just don't eat them. If they're there, I will not touch them. And and most things don't come with olives, but like pizza. But I never order pizza with olives on it. Like, ew, hate olives. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's never come up. That's interesting. I, I know, right? Mm-hmm. So there you go. I was telling the truth. Truth teller number two. I'm so upset. I'm truth teller number two, which means <gasps> Steph is lying. <laughs> Steph! Steph! That's I'm awful. so sorry. I know. Oh my gosh. I had to come up with something big oh. this week. It's a lie because it's so hard. Come on now. That's so mean to oh. us. I know. It broke my heart too when I found out that we couldn't get him. James was just saying no, we can't right now. We so break can't. our heart. I know. I'm the liar this week. I knew she was the liar the second I told the truth at JC's face. He was stunned. Because <laughs> yes, he, he knew he was yeah, telling exactly. the truth. He was yeah, stunned. Oh, but they've got they got forever homes. We actually found out yesterday they all got forever homes. So it was hard to kind of come up to that conclusion, but yeah, no second off. Yeah, this, is, this is devastating. Yeah, this really. just devastating. This is the harshest round ever. Jeff said Holy something cow. sad. He said, Jeff said, oh my God, you can't lie about puppies. You can't. You I can't. feel horrible. It's a rule. I know. Uh, Appa. We have like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, picturing it. This is going to be yeah. amazing. Oh. I'm thinking about, okay, get a little gift for the new puppy. Bring it on Friday. <laughs> Welcome to the family. I know. I hear, I'm breaking my heart too. Just talking about it next time i won't lie about puppies yeah That's the no, last time no lies about puppies ever again on this show <laughs> ever <laughs> everyone's so sad on the yeah, text Steph, line it's awful. Oh, get another puppy oh steph steph that was so mean lol um LOL. someone says i can't wait to watch mercedes facial expressions as she talks about olives on their youtube channel Yes, we do have a YouTube channel if you want to check it out. <laughs> We're on there. And you can see Steph lying to our faces, the devastation on our face when we find out she's lying. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm awful. sorry. You were really, you did a good job. You 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 won. You won. If there was a winner, you won. I was we talking were all her about the, I went into her studio yesterday and I was talking about the pup and you were a little awkward about the whole thing. So I was, I'm thinking like, oh, she knew she was going to get it yesterday. She didn't want to say anything. She was saving it for today to make the, the fun announcement. What a fun way to announce that you're getting a second pup. Uh-uh. Uh, all lies. JC, you read my body language because I kind of already knew we weren't, but I wanted to save it for two truths and a lie <laughs> that I wasn't going to get I picked up. You, it was a weird conversation we had. Yes. You know, you didn't come in here and ask if I liked olives. No, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make that I'm next time. I'll make that a part. Mercedes, I'm getting an olive spread this afternoon. No. Do you, no, do you like don't. olives? No. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm let's sorry. Not, uh, look, uh, by the way, yes, Carl Ernstberger, um, he played for the, uh, the Reading Phillies for like a couple of months, and then he quit. And he had a little sister you never knew about. I didn't know my idea. I didn't know my brother's sister. My mom said a girl in that house. Like, they did? I don't remember that. And JC does read his truths off of his computer. <laughs> I am fully prepared to walk into this segment. Wow. All right, Steph. Thanks for burning I'm us. Sorry. Oh, man. Lying no about more. puppies. Well, no more.